So here we are in Warrington, Virginia on a weird day that gets sunny and it gets cloudy and threatens to rain. And um, <laughs> we're actually driving around Virginia for other reasons and stopped here for lunch and gas. Maybe to go to a bank. And um, I'm not very sure that I've actually been in kind of downtown Warrington or the Warrington Historic District. And just driving through it, it seemed kind of charming. Now this little Main Street area is not in itself so charming. And I can tell you, you can find a lot of areas, a lot of towns that look almost like this, like Haymarket, which is a more downwardly mobile town, or Newmarket, or even Winchester, actually have little downtowns that look quite a bit like this. Uh, you can tell the difference. This is just a little bit more expensive. It's an old-fashioned barber shop, <laughs> semi-old-fashioned. Doesn't actually have a pole. Anyway. Um, There are other little towns in Virginia that kind of have this slightly twee, slightly fey downtown Main Street strip. I've just found the place I should have actually eaten. Apparently it's called Black Beer, Black Bear. Now you something less expensive. Here's another place. I've driven by that. Oh yeah, that's cute. If it had Wi-Fi, it'd get me in in a second. I'm not sure it does. Anyway, so we've used up two minutes of our typically eight minute tape and only now are we actually reaching the street that I really wanted to film for you. Who knows, maybe there'll be rain or hail, so I'll have to stop. But there's this whole historic district area. I think I've actually been in Shepherdstown, West Virginia. Which is probably not very far from here. And, uh... Seen a section that looks like the same vintage. Although... Uh... <laughs> Maybe not quite as impressive or ritzy as this. This may actually be a hotel. It's on Hotel Street. <laughs> it's actually getting really cold. So, my little uh, video may get cut short. I see that I've somehow hit the side of the iPad, which is alive with all kinds of nerve endings and you hit the side and all at once your picture is defocused or too bright or too dark. You're not actually touching anything you can see. Here's an old uh, lawn jockey, but it's a white lawn jockey, not a black one. I don't know if it always was. I have a feeling this is an old printing press. Yep, hot lead linotype. because we're outside the Fauquier, Fauquier Times Democrat selects successor to the Palladium of Liberty, Arthur Arundel, presumably of the same family as the Arundel and Arundel County. Anyway, there you go, libertarians. Here in Warrington, Virginia, in Fauquier County, there was once a newspaper long ago called the Palladium of Liberty. Oh, real estate. Good God. I see one $580,000 house. I see a $199,000 lot. I see a lot of houses in the sevens and the twos and the one millions. Oh, I see an old country farmhouse way out for four ninety-nine. dollars Oh. <laughs> and I see a large tract of farmland with a four-bedroom rambler on it for only one ninety-nine. But overall... Not affordable. This is 
so often the case. All these downtown areas are shot full of real estate offices and settlement offices and government offices. Anyway, I really do think there's going to be howling wind and rain hitting me in any second. Uh, so now that we've used up over half our tape walking back to an area I had driven through, we are reaching the area that had the older homes that I thought were actually very noteworthy and worth taping. And my hands are freezing. Um, I don't know anything about Arlington. My overall impression is that it's a place where retired CIA agents come to live and people who are into horses and wealthy people who maybe can't actually live maybe they can't actually uh, afford a country home in a horse stable so they bought something smaller in town they have an Episcopal church so you know they must have money street apparently has been adopted by the Blue Ridge Orthopedic and Spine Center. Everything around here says Blue Ridge. I don't know why my picture is all fuzzed up. I can't wait for someone to accuse me of being classist because I only take pictures of historic districts. And that's actually true because I find them charming and I want to live in one. Uh, but it's also the case that when I take pictures of houses in Washington, basically I'm taking pictures of ruling class neighborhoods full of people who want the government expanded because they control it and it expands their power. Their tool to expand the government is to say it's needed in part to correct past abuses of racism and slavery. So they scream at all their opponents and call them racist, particularly Tea Party people. But they themselves live in neighborhoods where all the houses are a million and a half and up and none of their neighbors are black except for ambassadors from African and Caribbean countries and the only black people you can see in their neighborhoods other than their rare ambassador neighbor are the people who work for them cleaning and cooking. And even then, they tend to hire Latin Americans to do a lot of that, or Filipinos. This house is still having Halloween, even though it's April. It was a very cold October-like April day, though. So they have that in their favor. This one's cute. It's stone masonry. I can't tell if that's a horse trailer or not. I guess it's not, but I'm not positive. Anyway. There's a uh, somewhat less fancy house for the neighborhood. Although they have great landscaping. There's a somewhat more fancy house for the neighborhood, which you can't see because they have this truly impressive tree. And then you have houses like this. It's really funny. There's actually a section, a particular street. I think it's T Street between 1st and 2nd. Oh... No, between like 6th and 5th Northwest. And it actually has houses that look exactly like this. It's, it had become a completely African-American neighborhood at one point. Uh, mainly Howard University faculty. And uh, actually at the corner of 4th and T is a house that still belongs to June Jackson. Jesse Jackson's wife. I don't know if he's ever actually there. I'm not sure that that really is a marriage anymore. But it's a neighborhood full of houses that look like this. I think we're going to do another tape.